Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to do visual level calculation using templates without writing complex DAX majors. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So you can do the visual level calculation for any Power BI visual. So, but for better understanding, I will use a table visual. So from Power BI visual gallery, I will add a table visual on the report page and let me increase the size and from the data table i will add month as a column and the second column i will use order quantity so as you can see this is the major sum of order quantity so i will add this and now if you want to do the visual level calculation Actually, visual level calculation feature is currently in preview. So you have to enable it first. So you have to go to the file and in the file and here you will see option and setting. You have to click on option and setting. And from here you will click, you have to click on option. And the new window will open. And from here you have to click on the preview features and scroll down and here you can see visual level calculation so if it is not enabled you have to enable and click ok and close the power bi desktop and reopen it now once you will enable and once you will right click on this column of the visual so you will see the option new calculation just click on the new calculation and you will see here your table and this is the calculation part now let me zoom in actually so now if you will click here you will see some templates like running some moving average percentage versus next versus first versus last and so on so first we will try with running some so here just you have to click on running sum and i will say running only and here i will add a column order quantity is already added in the table order quantity and now you have to hit the enter enter button so you can see here the running total so running total means this plus this this plus this 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 plus this plus this this okay now we'll try a some new major template the moving average and again we'll do the moving average so here we can see the moving average so i will keep the moving average as is i'll say just avg and here let me reduce the zoom in so here i will add a field called order quantity and my window size is 2 so it will do the average on the two data points okay now i will hit the enter button so you can see the moving average so this is the first column as it is now this is the average of this and so on. now let me try another one so another one is a percentage of parents so again we'll go here and i will say qty percentage and here i will use a order quantity again you can use only those column which is already added in the visual if in your data model if you have a some another column and if you are not using in the table you will not be able to add it here so here the order quantity and the next also i will use a order quantity and access will be my row rows so here is the row and let me hit the enter button and you can see here order qty is a, a quantity percentage so as you can see the 0 
something like that so i need to convert it into a percentage so two way you can do that to edit this major or edit this visual level calculation you have to come here and just click on this and here there you will find an option called edit calculation just click on edit calculation and here you can say you will correct the column name also qty by percentage and here i will say multiply by 100 or you can use a format function dax format function also so format this value so let me hit the enter button now you can see the percentage here now next one is percentage of grand total so here i will say running percentage running percentage and here i will use a column running one so i am using this column and for the field level i will use a order quantity column so this column and on x axis i will say row i will use rows now let me hit the enter button and here you can see again the percentage order quantity versus running order quantity percentage and let me edit again from here and here i will say multiply by 100 so now you can see the percentage okay now let me try other one here we have a versus previous so let me add versus previous so i will just say vs and here i will make it short v okay and now here i will say order quantity again order quantity and let me hit the enter button so what is happening here so first row you can see as it is and here you can see this minus this so this one so this minus this this one and so on now let me try another one versus next so here i will say vs next And again, I will add our order quantity here. And again, order quantity. Let me hit the enter button. So this minus this. So that is the reason it is coming minus and so on. Now, let me add versus first. Yes, first. So again, I will add our order quantity. And here again, I will add our order quantity. And hit the enter button. So this is zero. And this minus this. You can see here and this minus this so you can see here and so on now the last one which is the last so it is a reverse of first actually so vs last and here i will do order quantity the column and here i can do again order quantity and let me hit the enter button so you can see this divided by this no so th this minus this so 42 and this minus this 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 minus this so the verse is last 
so now after that if you want to like you know this is we have completed and after that you have to go to the top and you have to click on the back to report so you can see your table here okay but if you want to hide a sum column you can also hide the sum column you have to just go here for example i want to hide the last one so you have to go to edit and here you will see the option hide from visual so i am hiding the last column versus last just let me hide this but you will see here is you will still see the versus last is column is here in the edit part but once you will go back to the report go back to the report you will see the versus this versus last is already hidden you can see till versus first so this way you can also hide this uh, let me again go back to edit mode so here you again you will see versus last but it, it we have click on the we hide it actually from here so it is not appearing if i'll remove it and i will go back and you will see now versus last here so similarly i have done the visual level calculation for the table if you want to do it for the another visual you can also do it and let me quickly show you i am i'll try to do it for the line chart let me add a line chart here and what i am going to do i will use a month on x axis as a month and order quantity on the y axis so this is the line chart and now i will right click here and i will say new calculation and in new calculation i will use a template running sum and i will use a order quantity and let me hit the enter button and from here i will click back to report so now you can see the order quantity and the running sum two lines that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching